Alright guys, not, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome to the Police No Sarcasm Podcast. Today I'm joined with Fabio P96, a fellow STDX member uh, at, at STDX Hydro, and 24 Lego Man, a very dedicated Twitch viewer. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about BO3. Is it one of the best CODs ever because of so much content that's in there? Uh, we'll be talking about the stuff that we know. So we'll be going diving into a little bit of the leaked stuff. So if you don't want spoilers, we'll warn you before that. You can mute it and then get you know, out. We'll uh, continue on there. So we don't want to dive in too much into the spoilers, but there's some really, really interesting things that have been said. So uh, all that. So we're gonna go ahead and head start off with: Do we think? Okay, personally, I think BO3 is gonna be one of the best cards out there, like ever. How about we start with what was your favorite cod? Let's go with that. Well, because we all know the answer. Well, what's your favorite COD? Yo, too. Exactly. <laughs> Mine's Black Ops 1. Bitch. All right. Bitch? Well, okay. <laughs> Black Ops 2? Yeah, Black Ops 2 would be my favorite. Uh, <laughs> wasn't bitch, a fan. Black Ops 1. Black nah. Ops 1. Black Ops 1. Yeah. Was MW1. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> oh, no, Modern Warfare 1 was my fucking favorite. A lot of... Okay, okay, a lot I don't of, give a damn. A World of War had great zombies. I'll give okay. Actually, World at War just because custom zombies is still a thing, and that game has been out forever. So I'll give it to I'll give it to World of War. Screw everything else. I'm gonna nah, say I'm only... good. World of War is really not that good. Um, I would not say by it itself, would rank no. like it would rank like really low on my scale. But Black Ops One is like up there because it was always new, like fresh, like it never got old. Like Black Ops Two got really old after a while. Black Ops One never got old. You got saw people grinding that from morning to night every well, fucking Two's day. The reason it's still relevant is because Ghost was some shit, and then Advanced Warfare yeah. was like everyone's half and half, and like of yeah. course it's still gonna be relevant. If Ghost like wasn't a, a piece of crap, then I think it would have still Black Ops Two would have died. But whatever. What about? I mean, uh, are we talking just multiplayer? We're talking. We're talking game in general. So we got World at War, Black Ops Two, Black Ops One. What about you, Lego Man? I was gonna say I've only probably I only ha own two of them. I mean, I played. I have two. I have I have Black Ops Two. I have call, uh, the I have the original two. So Call of Duty like, Two. Like the original. Oh shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then guy, um. I played Black Ops One Zombies. So I mean, I love two. I mean, I just kind of love the aspect of how they brought technology in. I mean, but I would have to say, I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, I like that. I guess I'm gonna have to go with two because I. That's really the only game I. All right, have I'm the odd man game. out. Screw you guys. Dude, diabetes, <laughs> man. That's diabetes. <laughs> Well, yeah, so we all have our favorites, and, and it's all because of different reasons. I mean, I love Black Ops 2 because of the zombies, and just because of, like, my connection to it, because of how many hours I grinded on that game. That's why I love it so much. But Dude, I feel yeah, like right. Black Ops 3 has got so much content in it, it will take so long for you to literally play everything and do everything. So what are you guys' initial thoughts on Black Ops 3, from, given from what you know? Um, from the beta and the leaks, I think multiplayer is going to be a piece of shit, and I think zombies is going to rule and take over. Bam. I can kind of agree with that, because I feel like Acti um, Activision and Treyarch really concentrated more on the zombies than anything else. Well, I, I thought, mean, honestly, at first, I thought they were focusing on multiplayer, and then I played the beta, and multiplayer was literally just a piece of shit. Like, around, like, all around, I think that the way they made it was really cool, but they just didn't focus on, like... The gameplay, like the gameplay itself, is just really bad. I think. I mean, they it's made still the beta, really... I guess. I guess since the... that's why and I want to give it one we, more. We we got like what, like one third of all like the like special people and shit. Maybe there's like a new aspect once you get farther into the game. I guess you can't yeah. really tell right now. I was gonna say, I yeah. thought I, I thought I was when I was watching the videos. I thought um I heard that like it was you're not gonna get the zombie aspect until you beat the uh comp the campaign. So like, okay, I mean, so here's that, here's a isn't a that getting spoiler. in the leak territory? That's getting yeah, in the so, leak territory. So in leak so territory. So guys, uh, if you guys don't want leak content, please mute it. I'll go like this when we're done talking about it. But so mute it, and then uh, we're gonna be talking about some leak stuff. So yeah, so that video was talking about someone said on told T Martin that that we will be a new zombie game mode. Now you know our original zombies is just hordes on hordes on hordes. You survive rounds. This new one is when you beat the campaign, you get to replay the campaign or certain campaign like, missions. But instead of the enemy, you know, AI, you have zombies. So you play the campaign with new objectives, new 
like just a new style, but it's just mission based. So it's a zombie isn't, campaign. Yeah, it's isn't it just like an it's like basically extension after you beat the regular campaign, then you get the zombies campaign, and I'm guessing that's it's supposed to be after Origin or something. That's what no, I'm getting. No, no. So the like, zombie campaign from what we oops from what we know has nothing to do with the zombie lore yeah. um, from okay. the original. It's just it's just you as your characters from campaign are fighting against zombies. Okay. Yeah, because if uh, you look at videos that. Uh, the storyline, the new storyline, has really nothing to do with the old one. And because on the old one, they ended it with how the whole thing was literally just a game being played by little kids. Well, they kind of brought that whole storyline to an end with Origins. So they can't really continue that storyline anymore. It'd That's be kind of stupid. The reset in yeah. the giant. Yeah. All right. yeah. So spoilers are over. So, um, so yeah, so there's that. Um, now, going, diving into zombies a little bit, there's so much more to it, just with the whole storyline reset with the original characters, and now we get these new characters, and I feel like Shadows of Evil is going to be like Mob of the Dead or Call of the Dead, where it's sort of a separate storyline only in for that one map, where they're just some characters that just kind of got trapped in zombies, and you get to follow their storyline so you know well, how they got Well, I feel like the first map will set the storyline for the rest of the game. Because it seems like they only did that with one game and it was really bad and that was Black Ops 1. And when they just made like three random maps and they had nothing to do with each other, it was really bad. Whoa. And they didn't really like the storyline set up for that. So I think with this one, when they kind of did with Black Ops 2, it was a success. Like all the Easter eggs were really good because they started the whole game out with the storyline opener. And it just led the game into a fluent line. So if they don't do it, it's gonna the Easter eggs and storyline are going to end up really bad. So I think they're probably going to start off ex describing it. It's not going to be like Call of the Dead. It's going to connect to all the other maps. Okay, so but well, how do you think that's going to um, tie in with the whole... Do you think that's just going to be a continuation of the storyline since in the giant they do the reset? So that that's what they've been pushing uh, really is that the whole entire... They, I think they even said it during one of the um, Bio Black Ops... Uh, Fr Black Ops 3 Friday streams is that it is a reset. Like they reset the storyline because they they killed the Brick Telf and that started that entire world domination story the world. They killed him during the Origins timeline and now it's completely new. So maybe since it's uh, Shadows of Evil was set into nineteen thirties, Origins was set into in the early nineteen hundreds, so nineteen fifteen, nineteen sixteen. So that is gives it enough time to be like, okay, we reset it and now it's, the zombie storyline is going on a new track as if Rick Alpha never really wanted to do world domination. So now there's a new big bad guy so i'm wondering if you play that you have to play the giant first understand the reset then you play shadows of evil to try to figure out who the new bad guy is and i'm wondering if the shadow man is maxis that is a complete possibility i don't think it will be just for the fact that rick Toff and a maxis kind of it all in black ops 2 it all depended on how like how, it, it was all dependent on the easter egg side that you did and Really, I mean, it all depended on which one you did. Because if you did the Richtofen, then it was... I believe, wasn't it, if you did Richtofen, Richtofen killed Maxis, and then the whole game ended? But if you did Maxis, Maxis, like, took over the whole thing? Or did I flip it? No, so if you did Richtofen, it ended the same way. Just, it ended in Richtofen taking control of the zombies and World Annihilation. Maxis killing Richtofen, and then Maxis is like, Oh, hey, look, I can control the zombies! I think so. I could be getting it wrong, too, because I actually never finished the entire storyline. I finished both of them, but I can't remember exactly. I know one of them. I'm pretty sure it's Richtofen. If you end the, all three Easter eggs with Richtofen, then what he does is he takes over, and it is, like, complete um, and utter annihilation, pretty much. Like, he takes control of the zombies, and the zombies, can, they become, like, ten times harder. And that's when you get, like, the, I think it was, like, the orange theme. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of how that works. And then with Maxis, Maxis kills Richtofen, and then, um, and then something different happens. But I don't think they both end the same way. I'd have to look that back up. Is this um, um is this Black Ops One I'm hearing? No, no Black Ops Two. 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 See, Black, see how Black Ops One ended in the um, Richtofen getting into the um. I, what is, what is it called? The like little, the 
purgatory mode kind of thing where yeah. he gets control of zombies and then the rockets get sent off the moon and destroy the earth and that's why the earth is all like blown up and with lava and shit uh, in Black Ops 2 uh, the zombies yeah. because it's like they accidentally blew up the world the the world Oops. or it's like yeah it, I think one of the what are the what are the lines from the characters or something like oh shit <laughs> like did we just do that that so, was on moon that was yeah moon. that was moon yeah that was great I was gonna say because I don't remember that stuff. I know I played the storyline. Yeah, I remember, I remember on stuff. Moon. There's the big rocket, and they shoot it at the Earth, and the Earth blows up. I and don't you're know like, if you remember that? Oh, know. awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um. And yeah, and so. So yeah, so zombies is the story storyline. I feel like it's gonna be reset, and just with a new storyline. And then when the DLC comes out, you know, it'll be continuation storyline, and it's just gonna be a new storyline. So it's kind of like a new game, but with related still to the old one which is a great idea because honestly how long after black ops 2 there's really nothing you can do that's you know in the sense of easter eggs it's cool because you've told everyone how it started they've played through you know they did everything like they played through the live story like it was them that's causing everything and now it's ended so they're like okay let's reset it let's do this thing where it resets and then do another storyline so it's basically i think the only thing they really could have done of because if they continued it it would have sucked. There would have been Basically really nothing the Terminator. To do. Yeah, reset, reset, yep. reset. Um, no now let's let's talk about campaign. So the campaign, I feel like they've been working on a little bit more because the last few campaigns, even in Black Ops Two, have really lacked like just any reason to play it. Advanced Warfare campaign was horrible. Ghost was just an embarrassment. Black Ops 2 was okay with those special missions. Now, I, don't, Black I honestly, and I'll give you my honest opinion, I have not played the, like, I have not played and enjoyed the campaign since Black Ops 1. Jeez. Yeah, no, same, same. Like, the last campaign I actually really had fun like, with. Modern Warfare 3 was okay for, like, the first 30% of it, and then it got really stupid. Just because you wanted to finish it because you played through 1 and 2. Yeah. Exactly. I was going to say with Black Ops 2, I, I, I agree. I, I mean, I got to the point where, I mean, it's been me, but I just got to the point where at the halfway point, I was just like, I don't really want to play this anymore and just kind of set it aside for like a couple of months and then just was kind of in the mood the one day to play more and I just was like, finish it, get it over with. Yeah, and, and now with so... the Black Ops 3, <laughs> that's what, okay, I really enjoyed the Modern Warfare, like, uh, campaigns. They, they just, to me, they were a lot of fun. But Ghost was just like, and then the ending was the exact same as Modern Warfare. And I'm like, I'm not even kidding. The movement, everything was the same. Except just, it would, was reskinned. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I, th I think maybe they thought it would be cool, but no, 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 you have to be original. So now in Black Ops 3, they've extended, not only have they extended it, they've given you a reason to play through it. You know, for especially for other game mode players no spoilers and th then they've included four player co-op they've kind of got a left for dead feel where you can get to the safe house customize your weaponry like in black ops 2 and then also they got this great game mode for special for people like me who just got to play the campaign realistic mode where it's a one-shot kill <laughs> now it's not going to be realistic obviously but it's going to be really really freaking hard and i feel like it's going to be great a great challenge to get some people together and try to beat the campaign on that um on that difficulty what you I, mean, saying, even, yeah. I was gonna say, I even feel like playing realistic mode on a Black Ops 2 is like tricky. And I mean, just seeing the mechanics for this game, this definitely is gonna have a really more realistic feel to it. So, I mean, it looks much more tricky, like it's gonna Jet be packs. to kill somebody. Yeah, I feel like with the campaign, with I feel like co op campaign was honestly their best move because solo campaign is really boring. And it gets really stupid if you don't have a good storyline. At least with co-op campaign, if your storyline is mediocre, you can still make fun out of it because you have other people there. Like, yeah. so you can plan it out strategically on like hard, hard difficulties, and it makes it a lot better. Um, <clears throat> I'll make a quick comparison to like, um, like the division is like a whole storyline based game, and those are and it's co-op, so it's really fun. And I think that's how they're kind of going to run this this new game. Yeah. And it's that's what's gonna make it really good. So I f I feel that zombies is gonna be good. Campaign is gonna be good. Now you mentioned earlier uh, at the start of the podcast that you thought 
the multiplayer is going to suck because the gameplay wasn't really that good. Now, what what makes you say that the gameplay is just not going to be that good? Because, I mean, I've never really been that big into multiplayer except for in Advanced Warfare when I played competitively. But that's just, cause I, just because I played competitively. I never really looked at the real enjoyment of just sitting back playing multiplayer. I was there to compete. Besides that, I've never really played multiplayer, so obviously you're, you know, a multiplayer fanatic. So, what what exactly makes it, you know, not that enjoyable? Well, the mechanics of, like, killing and dying are really bad, so it's, of course, it's going to be, like, Advanced Warfare. It was on the beta, at least. It was all connection for one, which is pretty much, for the past two or three Call of Duties, has been how it's been. But not only that, it's with the mechanics of, like, shooting and... Even sniping, I hate that when multiplayer sniping sucks, it annoys the fuck out of me because I really love sniping on multiplayer. So the mechanics on that, they screwed up completely and it su multi just sniping on there sucks. And then mechanics of regular weapons, it goes back to more of a, um, it's like a Black Ops, it's it's sort of like a Black Ops 2, um, Black Ops 2 hybrid, or Black Ops 2 and AW hybrid because... There's only about three guns that everyone's going to use at the beginning. Of course, in competitive, they're going to have to mix it up because of the whole um, ban system. But three guns were literally OP as fuck. Everyone used them. Everyone destroyed with them. It was basically a duplicate of AW. It wasn't like the older ones where you could use like ten different guns and still have the same outcome. Right. It was really bad. So I thought the mechanics of the guns were too OP and they overpowered to some guns to a point where they were pretty much just the game. Yeah. So because I remember, I can actually agree with that because I remember Black Ops uh, 1, you could use any weapon and sort of like me and my friend when we would play together, he would use the file, I would use the M16. That was it. And we'd go against guys with the MP5. I, my thing was M16 and MP5K. Those are my two guns. And we still destroyed with them because no matter what gun you're using, you just have to be good and know where to aim. Right. And just different guns gave you different advantages in different situations. But, like, yeah, like, the bow compared to the Razorback or, like, you know, those two are, like, the go-to yeah. guns because they're good in any situation. The bow could do, you know, short to medium and even sometimes long engagements. Same thing with the Razorback. Destroys in short, you know, engagements. Medium, it it still can dominate in medium engagements, and if you're good with it, you can even go in you know long distance engagements because it's just one of those guns. So I kind of agree with that, yeah. Because I kind of noticed that there was like the Razorback, some assault rifle, and then yeah. one of the shotguns. Like that's all they used. Yeah. And I remember trying to use the Shiva because it was a really cool one shot gun. And it was a two shot thing, but I had to always keep my distance because I could not go up close with that gun. Even though I knew how to use it up close, because the Razorback would just literally destroy me. Before I could get off that second shot to kill a guy, yeah. I'd be dead. So, yeah, like I was saying, it's like a Black Ops 2 uh, AW hybrid, where it's back to the uh, whole three guns rape and control the game, and it just has a Black Ops 2 feel to it. And it's really sad, because Black Ops 1 had the best gun mechanics ever made because everything was equal you could use a sniper you could use a submachine gun you could use guns that you started with at prestiges and still kick people's ass that were like using like the g11 right <laughs> so everything was so balanced i think if they made a game like that again then people would be so willing to play the multiplayer and play the zombies and play the campaign and play everything again because that's why, honestly, I think Black Ops 1 was the best Call of Duty, because the multiplayer kicked ass, the zombie kicked ass, and the campaign kicked ass. So, there was, um, there was some, I think Ali A said it, that a lot of the guns got nerfed after the beta, because of that reason. Now, I was watching the, um, the competition in the last gaming event in France, and I noticed a lot of the players were using a, a large assortment of weapons. So they were not only using the Razorback. There was a new submachine gun out there. They were using the Shiva. They were using a large assortment. So f from that, from seeing that even the pro players, because it was the best U.S. versus the best European players versus each other. Viewing that and seeing that they were using a large assortment of weapons, they weren't all using the same weapon. I think that it may or may not be like Black Ops 1, but the beta definitely, I can agree, felt like just aw 
in Black yeah. Ops 2. There's those go-to guns. What about the game modes? So what do you what do you guys think about the new game modes? There's like oh, a shit ton oh, of new shit. game modes. <laughs> okay, so the one game mode I think was the best, and I think they put in competitive, which is amazing, and it's the one where you have to guide the robot across the map to the other checkpoint. <sighs> I thought that was amazing. It's so team based. It you have to have a lot of good gun skill. You have to have multiple different players with multiple different skills. So people who can take up close engagements, people who can move around the map very swiftly and undetected. And I think it's gonna be it's one of those that's gonna be a very team based and very amazing and competitive. What about what about uh, you two? What do you I was think? gonna say I think I'm gonna leak something. So all right, so guys, we're gonna have a. Spoiler alert, so mute, and I'll tell you guys when the, it's back. Okay, so basically when I was watching yeah, the video, he was saying that, like, you can now make, like, they're going to, uh, yeah, it's going to, they're actually going to come in to, like, they're going to game, people like the game, they're going to make it actually, like, a game mode in, the ga like, the base game itself. So, like, they're going to basically full have streaming. it where you, where you can have full feature. Like, you can have full feature, like, you can change how many points, you can change, like, the the map, like... You mean, kind of the party games? Yeah, essentially. Okay, well, yeah, that's always been there. So, no, what you're saying is that there's going to be more customization party games, okay. I don't think well, he's I mean, talking that's, about that's not a spoiler. Games. I think he's talking about, like, you can ch you can choose... It's like almost like a custom games online. I was going to say, well, they, they, and they were saying is that, like, they, if that game gets played so much that they might actually, like, integrate it into the game without you, like, having to, like, change all the settings and, like, into what you want. Hmm. I don't remember seeing that. That's a good. That's a good point. Yeah, but there, there's just been like besides the leaks, there's just so many different game modes. That's what I was saying. Begin. There's so much in this game that it's just. How do you play it all? Yeah. There's so many different game modes. They're bringing back old game modes. There's new game modes. You know, there's so much. That's why I think Bo3 is just gonna be the like the one game that just the COD community needs just to re be refreshed. Yeah, there's new stuff. and I'm gonna bring this up, and I bet everyone already knows this as it is. But if BO3 is a fail, Call of Duty is gonna die. Yeah, it's literally gonna be a dying breed, and everyone's gonna transition over to Halo. Already seen that happen to multiple people. Uh, people are leaving Call of Duty competitive for Halo competitive because Halo Five came out and it was an absolute monster. Um, really? You know, yeah, dude. Cause no, because I've I've heard from the other fans of people who like don't play COD and play Halo, and they're like Halo Five was some shit on multiplayer, like at least competitively, because they were going along the lines of, uh, it, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like the old Halos. It like competitively, Halo was going down streak, and people were like, I've heard both sides. Like I've heard COD. If COD fails, people are gonna go to Halo, and I've heard Halo Halo Five's like. Since it just came out, they're like, it's not feeling right. They need to fix loads of shit or else everyone's going to go to Halo. I mean, uh, Black Ops 3 um, because it's we'll going to be see. a monster. Like, I think I have no idea. Here's where the second option goes in is like if people hate. See, Call of Duty is a dying breed anyways, honestly, but it's going to massively go up if Black Ops 3 is a fail. A lot of people are going to go to Halo 5, but also another game that they're going to go to is CS. And that's yeah. because everyone is going to CS now. CS is like the go-to oh. game now. Even I play it. It's a lot it's more fun than Call though. of Duty. It's gonna Not be really. See, it wasn't yeah. as pop. Well, see, it wasn't as popular until like two years ago. Two years ago, it really started. To I get think it. something that has to do with that actually is because computers are getting way cheaper. Yeah. Like to run CS is like you can use a fr freaking like shitty computer to run I CS. I run it on mine. I mean, yeah, like, I think that's the main reason why a lot of people are switching, because CSGO and, like, all that stuff has been around for, like, more than 10 years, so... Yeah, no. It's... Yeah. I yeah, and it, even... It just being big, I don't think. I just think it's... A lot of people are seeing the appeal because Call of Duty is kind of going on that down, and same with Halo. Yeah, and I mean, it's like, every legacy dies. I mean, eventually some game's gonna come up and take Call of Duty away. And Call of Duty is just going to be a non-existent game any, uh, anymore. Like, there was one... What game? I can't... I mean... Call of Duty's been around since, the you know, the start. Isn't it like... I was going to say, isn't it like almost 30 years old or something ridiculous? I... Not, I doubt it. I can look yeah, it up I don't, quick. I don't, I don't, I, it's, it's like 15 or something. 
maybe 15. I don't think 30. Yeah, no, because I think the no, first. No, it ain't 30. It's first not. Call of Duty. 30, like, 30, what? like before 30 Atari would be, No, 30 would be like Sega Genesis. Jeez. Yeah. So, no, I, nah, a little, a little before. A little after Sega Genesis, but yeah. Also, here's something that I need. To, I was going to point out is that Activision. Okay, so wait, no, sorry. Oh, three. Treyarch. So the Treyarch has always been the um, like the go-to guys for Call of Duty. Like they make the best Call of Duties, and now Sledgehammer and what was it? Infinity Ward have really been slacking because I mean the last two games sucked. Uh, Infinity Ward made Modern Warfare, which was good, but wasn't, you know, as good as the Black Ops series. So I feel like in order for Call of Duty to survive another decade, those two companies really need to do their work. They really need to step up the game and stop, they need to stop trying to be like Black Ops. Yeah. Start making their own marks so that every year, it's not like, yep, same game. It's like, oh, this is completely different. Like, we've never had this before. This is a different style. And then there's there's this old, the other thing is I feel like they need to change. I don't personally. I feel like I'm bored of the advanced warfare. I'm bored of that. I'm bored yeah. of the futuristic. I want to see another time zone. Now it could be I, way 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 in the future, like you know space marine shit. That would be yeah. cool. Or it could go cool. back to our roots. You know, like back to Vietnam or back to World War Two or maybe even World War One. I. I mean, the only good World War One game I've ever seen was Verdun, and that was a great game. It just it never picked up, you know, like yeah. the hype. See, like I feel like the way the reason why they go to this futuristic stuff is not because they've already done it in the past. Is because it's so much easier to make good futuristic games with modern technology, and with the, it's almost like they're wasting potential when they go to older, older civil. Um, because it's all like very bad. Like you can make good graphic old games, but it's not the same feel. You have a better feel like better graphics better everything with futuristic games and i feel like that's what they try to focus on is getting good quality and good this good that with the new gen it's obvious they were trying to do that but honestly i wouldn't care if it was like black ops one quality if it was a good game yeah like you said that where it was balanced the guns yeah were balanced and that, that's another thing it's like i feel like it's just kind of not balanced because of the futuristic stuff because you've got all these new technologies, which are fun, they're great. Like I love the hunter killer, hunter killer drone, and now they're bringing it back as a dart. I love that, but I just I feel like with the modern, like the modern style weapons, it's getting too overpowered. Because if you think about it, if you honestly think about it, the guns used in the time era of Black Ops One, so Vietnam, were balanced even in real life. The AK versus the M16. The M16 would jam up a lot. The AK wouldn't, but the M16 had accuracy over the AK. So the people using the AK had to stay back because they popped their head. A guy with the M16 can, you know, get them really easily. Yeah. But the guys with the AK were able, to, you know, didn't really have to clean their guns as often as the guys with the M16s because, you know, the, you can submerge an AK in water, dust, mud, and pick it up a decade later and fire it. I'm not even kidding. It's been done. Like, you can beat that thing to shit and it'll still fire. It's amazing, but it's inaccurate as hell. Yeah. So, it, it's it. I mean, whatever, whatever time time zone, I'm still gonna play them. I still enjoy it. It's just I'm just getting tired with these half-assed games. That's why I'm really hoping that Black Ops Three will be amazing. Because from what we can tell, like even going okay, let's go into something. Now there's customization. You can customize your character. You can customize your gun to basically anything. Like with the new um, paint shop. Like, you can literally customize anything. And Hydro... Oh, there we go. It, like, everything froze. I don't know, what, what do you guys think about the paint shop? Or the, you know, paint shop? It's basically that it's basically the, them saying, uh, frick to the skins on a Counter-Strike. I mean, now people... I mean, it, it would be almost kind of smart for them to... If they really want to make a ton of money, which a lot of these companies probably most likely want to do... It's like they don't have that feature, so like they can people can like have to like buy keys and put it in the cases to get really nice skins. But see, like I feel like they're not trying to copy CS because it works a player card system. It doesn't work like CS. It doesn't work like you open a case and you get skins. What happens is you build it with like a player card system. So it's almost like they take 
that you use you would make your card to like represent yourself now you make it on your gun so your gun represents you but i feel like that's really unneeded and i honestly wouldn't mind just having them put regular skins in and we use those because i thought it gave it like an original feel like an older feel with all this like paint job and stuff i feel like it gets kind of like i'm sorry but like paintballish and stuff like that doesn't feel like real warfare True. So I wasn't too fond of it. It's cool that I feel it was needed. I mean, I'm excited for it because I think like it's a great thing for, especially for like content creators. Because like what I'm planning on as soon as I finish the campaign, I'm gonna jump into zombies, and whatnot, and then I'm gonna sit down on stream and just literally customize my guns with stream. Like we're just gonna sit down there. It's I feel like it can be. For a small select people, I mean, it's not a, a game-changing thing, but for the small select people, it's going to be a great way to interact, especially on stream. Just be like, hey guys, let's customize my gun. So you can have them help you, we can, you know, they'd be like, oh yeah, you know, do this, do that, and then, okay, leak, mute. You can actually share your skins. It's been leaked that you can share your skins, which is, we've, we're expecting that. I mean, you can make your skin, upload it, that people can rate it, download it, use it, so... Especially for the big, big content creators, you know, it's going to be great for them. They can have the community, help them create the skin, and then the community can use it. Alright, we're good. No more leaks. Yeah, like number eight. one skin right here. Hey, hey, number one skin, face clip. Top the gaming. That's going to be, yeah, those things are going to be crazy. The Skype quality is going to shit real quick. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, like, you guys are completely phased out. Everyone's freezing. Hold on, who's the host of the Skype call? I am. Okay, hold on. Um, since you're recording and not live streaming, it's fine, I think, right? If we just, like, go back into the call. Yeah, um... Okay, right, so we'll, this is going to be part one. We'll upload part two um, right after this. We're going to have to restart the Skype call, so fail. But part two coming next, and we'll see you guys in a sec.